hello everyone welcome to this video so in this video we will see the question that is 337 house robber 3 so this is the continuation for the two videos that i made before this that were for house robber 1 and 2 so before watching this video i will recommend you to solve those question first that is house robber 1 and 2 and if you are not able to solve them so you can watch my videos i will also provide the link in the description and in the i button also so this will be a bit tougher than those problems so let's see so it is a medium level question you can see and one of the most likes question also so it has been asked in various interviews also because it is of form tree so let's see the thief has found himself a new place for his ivory again there is only one entrance to this area called the root besides the root each house has one and only one parent house because you know it as it is written to root so it will form a tree you can see this example also so in a tree each child has only one parent so you can see each child has one parent you can uh, see from here then you can see after a tour the smart thief realized that all the houses in this place forms a binary tree so binary tree is a tree where each a parent or a node has only two children or zero or one it may it will not have more than two children so it will have one zero one or two children you can see then it will automatically contact the police if two directly linked houses were broken into the same night so it is actually the concept is similar to the house robber one and two but the conditions are or constraints are different you can see now houses are connected in a tree format it, it forms a binary tree so that means if we root a one house so we cannot root the adjacent houses so that will be the child of this so we will have to root the other houses so it will automatically contact the police otherwise so you can see determine the maximum amount of money that the thief can drop tonight without alerting the police so this example is given and this example is given so i will explain you new example first of all let's see so in this example you can see the the input that we are given so it is actually a pre-order traversal so this will be the root you can see this will be the root and two and three will be the left and right child of this root and this null means the left child of this two the left child of two is null you can see it is not there and here you can see left child is not there and this is a three so this is right child you can see and this these childs are for this three these are for left and right so left is null and right is one you can see like this uh, is uh, our tree is formed so this is a pre-order traversal for this tree so let's see what our example is about so uh, as it is to told that all the houses are connected in a tree format so you can see this is the parent this is a root node and these are its children so they are actually connected you can see there is a direct edge between them so if you see carefully you can you can see this edge three is connected to two uh, to uh, through this edge and three is connected to three through this edge so that means we cannot loot these houses together you can see three and three so it will automatically trigger the alarm and the police will be uh, coming so that's why we cannot loot like this so we will have to actually loot the houses which are not directly connected so that means the, which are not the uh, children of the parent so you can see this three so it will be uh, it if we loot uh, we loot this three so we can loot this three and one because it is not directly connected to, to this edges you can see they are not directly connected there is there are two houses in between so that's why we can loot this so what we have to do is we have to maximize the profit or we can we have to uh, rob the maximum houses and collect the maximum money so let's see how we can do that for this example we are given this so this is uh, this actually denotes the amount this three is actually the amount so let's see so if we loot this three okay we, if we loot this three so we will have three profit then we cannot loot this two and three because they are connected so the trigger will automatically like trigger so that's why we cannot loot this so we will come to these houses so these we can loot it will be three plus one it is not written that you cannot loot these two houses or a particular level uh, together we can loot these particular houses these three plus one this will be uh, looted together so it will become you can see three plus three six or one uh, plus one it will be seven but if you see if we don't loot this root node then we can do uh, loot this two and three so if we loot this two and three then our profit will be two plus three which will be five but now if you see if we didn't loot this root and we rooted this houses in between the intermediate houses this two and three then we can loot this three and one also because they are also directly connected so then our profit will be five so what will be our maximum profit we have to return the maximum profit so maximum will be seven you can see seven is greater than five so our output will be seven you can see here also the output is seven so this is how we have to solve this example this is a basic uh, like problem statement that we are given so this was the explanation for the same so let's see the algorithm how we can do it as it is a tree so you can think of the recursive solution also so because we have to find the houses you know, the maximum profit that we can do so we will actually call the uh, our function main function recursively to find the profit for the all routes so let's see how our like algorithm will be so actually as i told you if we loot this house so we cannot loot these houses 
these houses so what we have to do is we will make two variables that is a1 and a2 and a1 variable will have the profit for uh, this these nodes that is, if we are on this node for this node we have called the function so it it's a left child and right child profit will be added so it will be even will be having the value as 9 you can see it will be having the value as 9 but it cannot be uh, like we add these values because we cannot root them we can root this only 4 and 5 then what a1 a2 variable will be having is root so it will be having the profit that we can get if we rob this root house so it will be 3 plus we cannot root these houses so we will we have we will check first if this root that we are looting has left child so if it has left child then as i told you we cannot root the intermediate roots so we will have to loot the left child's children you can see left child children will be 3 and 1 and 3 so if we loot this 3 so we cannot loot this 4 but we will check if this 3 has left child so 4 is present that means we can loot 4 children so that will be 1 and 3 so these will be also looted so profit will be you can see 1 plus it will be 3 plus uh, 3 plus 1 you can see 3 plus 3 plus 1 so now again we can if we loot this okay this will be the one case that we are adding so the the third or uh, the root node has also the right children so our right children's children's profit will be also added so that will be one so three plus three plus six it will be okay uh, this seven seven plus one so it will be eight if you see carefully it will be eight so that means our a1 variable a1 variable that we are having will store the profit a1 variable will store the profit when we loot the intermediate houses we don't uh, loot the uh, root we uh, loot the children of the loot then what we will do is we will recursively call so if we have this you can see we have in even we can simply add this so what we will do is this is not actually left child and right child we will recursively call the function or the same function for root left root dot left and root dot right roots left children and right children and they will recursively call for the same function again with their children so that is how it will work so now this function will call for this three so it will but with this value we will have even will have values as you can see for this it will be having four plus five because our four and five don't have any children uh, that can be looted you can see grandchildren because we cannot loot the children you can say in this way also if we loot three if we loot the parent so we cannot root its children we can look its grandchildren these are its grandchildren not the children so that is how it's working so for this you can see value will be 4 plus 5 it will be 9 if we loot uh, we uh, we leave the root node and we loot the children of that particular house or node so what we will do is we will have this even variable okay it will have value as 9 if we don't loot this root and these values if we skip this so it will be simply this 4 plus 5 it will be saving the value as that and now for the case when we loot this root node if we loot this root node so it will be 3 okay then we cannot loot this 4 and 5 so it will be skipped then we can loot this also 1 plus 3 plus 1 it will be 6 so uh, 7 so 7 plus, uh, sorry it will be yeah 1 plus 3 so yeah it will be 8 so you can see 3 plus 3 6 and 1 plus uh, 7 uh, plus 8 you can see this will be 8 actually so the maximum profit so actually when we will call this for function uh, call for this function so our a2 will have the values when we loot this root and again for recursively for this also actually it does not have any further node so it will be returning simply the value that is 8 because it's this uh, left child and right child will be null so it will return its value only root roots value that will be 1 simply uh, it will add that so what it will have is now even our even variable has uh, will have value as this 4 plus 5 it will be 9 and our a2 variable that will be when we uh, root uh, when we drop this root node it will be having value as 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 that will be 8 so we have to return the maximum profit as uh, given in the question so what will be our ma maximum profit so it will be a you can see maximum of a1 and a2 so it will be this 9 so this will be our maximum profit and you can see the answer also here so yeah you can see this is the maximum profit that we are getting is from 4 plus 5 if we loot this uh, root node then we cannot loot this so that that means we will simply skip this and loot this 4 plus 5 so we will get the maximum profit so this will be our main function actually so let me show you the code in c plus plus and python also so then i will explain you how we can do that so actually i will explain you the code that is memoization code because in uh, this recursive code will give you tle so we will have to use memoization code so let's see okay what's happening okay yeah so this is a code so actually you can see for you uh, let me explain you here only why we are using the recursive why we are not using simply the recursion if you use the recursion you can see uh, if uh, for, if we have like if we have this tree let me make this new slide if we have this tree particular tree so it has more nodes okay we it has more nodes from here also it has nodes here also so here also like similarly here at here 
and here you can see if uh, for example this node has value something like green value and it is also oh sorry not this this is also green value so our our recursive function what it will do is it will call for every function and it will check the value or find the value for every root every root and what our uh, it will uh, similarly it will lead to the TLE so what we can do is to reduce the time complexity we will uh, compromise our space complexity and what we will do is we will simply maintain a DP or we will use a dynamic programming and we will save the solution save the solution for this node this particular green it it we will save the solution for example just like imagine it is or giving value 5 so when we reach we call for this function when we reach to this function you can see this will be similar we will check if it is present in our dp array we can simply return that value because for this green value we have already calculated so it will be 5 so we can simply return that 5 if it is not there we can search for it or we, we can find the solution and then before returning the solution we will add that value to the our dp okay dp array or we, uh, in this case we will be using a map because we have to store the root and the maximum profit for that particular root so in this we, for a uh, memorization we will use a dp uh, this uh, map hash map you can say or a dictionary in python because we have to save the root the root will be 3 and then the value for the particular root will be you can see it for this profit will be actually our profit will be 8 so that is how we will be saving so let's see so you can see we have initialized in c++ we have initialized this unordered map so it will be having key as a tree node as i told you this will be our node so we will be saving uh, this node as the key and the int or int is the maximum profit that will be get from the particular node if we include it so that will be our value so it i have initialized it as dp you can see then this is our main function so actually i've written the comments because i committed this one hack it over also so you can read from these comments also so i will explain the code for server so you can see the base condition that will be having is if root is null because this is a recursive condi uh, this recursive function so you will have to make a rec uh, this base condition so don't forget to do this if root is null we will simply return zero because when we call for this function we call for we are on this function so it will call for is even so it's even will be actually null you can see it will be it does not have any left side or right side so it will simply uh, uh, when it will come here so it will call for zero so uh, any this left side so it is null so when a root is null we will simply return zero because it cannot contribute anything there is no house uh, below this one so we will simply return zero from here and zero from here so a1 will have value as zero and a2 will be having value as root so root value will be one and you can see for this i am telling root it will be having as one plus the root uh, it's uh, grandchildren but it does not have any grandchildren we will check if it is having any uh, left child and then only we will check for the grandchildren otherwise we don't do anything so it will return one so out of null uh, zero and one but will maximum one so we'll return the one to the parent node so this is how it will work in the recursion and as i told you we have to do some uh, memorization because for, to uh, reduce the time complexity otherwise it will give a tle so we will be using a dp you can see this our map that we created so what we will do we will check first of all bef before uh, like calling for the functions we will check if it is already present in our map dp map then we can simply turn the value for that dp root will be the key okay root will be the key and its a value will be returned dp of root will return the value for that particular key and value will be our the maximum profit that we will get that is 8 for this 3 that is the example so let's see so as i told you we will call this int a int a will be the case when we are looting we are not robbing the root node and we are dropping its children the particular uh, it is the case when if we are at if we are at this node okay we will not rob it we will rob its children so this is what this case is about you can see rob root dot left and root uh, dot right so this is how it will work and this uh, the a2 will be the case for when we uh, rob the root node so when we rob the root node we can uh, rob the root node plus the grandchildren of the root node if it has any grandchildren so this will be the condition we will check if root is a uh, root uh, left has any value so that means there is a left node for this root if we are at this value so we cannot root uh, rob this if we uh, cannot rob this so what we'll do we will check for the grandchildren so you can see it does not have any this left child does not have any grandchildren you can see so that means it will not call for the function so this is how we have to uh, check for the conditions you can see so then for this uh, rec uh, this particular node we will again recursively call you can see root left and left because for this value uh, let me erase this all stuff so you can see when we are on this particular 3 if we rob this 3 then we cannot drop this 4 and 5 so what we'll do we'll check if 3 has left node it has left node so it will check yeah it has left node then it will recursively call for the root dot left dot left you can see root dot left dot left and root dot left dot right 
for this one and three the same function will be calling and it will be returning the maximum profit that we can get from this node so this is how this recursive call will work and we again similarly as, as a root has a left child and right child, right child so we will check for the right child similarly we will check if right child is present that is 5 is present so then it will check if uh, it will call for the function that is uh, root dot right dot left and root dot right dot uh, right you can see root dot right dot right so actually in C++ this is arrow syntax so you can see then we will uh, we have to add this because I told you on the particular level we can rob all the houses that are on particular level because there is no edge between them it is a tree so it's uh, these uh, nodes or children are not connected to each other they are connected to their parents only so we, if we root the parent we cannot root the children so this is how we are doing this and at the end when we get a function so you can see as I told you we will having the value for this function we, in the a1 we were having value as 9 and in the a2 we were having value as a 8 so we will have to return the maximum out of quotes maximum will be returned so before returning we are also saving it into the dp of root as i told you for the screen before returning this uh, value we will simply save it to the our uh, dp uh, map so if we save it so it will have value as 5 so when we come to here you can see if we come here so it is green so it will check yes dp of green if for, for example you can suppose that is present so it will return that value simply the value that we say 5 so we can save our time lot of time will be saved because uh, instead of calling these this function for the same subtrees it will sim uh, simply return the value for the particular subtree which has been calculated before only so let's submit this so i hope you understood how we are solving this or how we can solve this problem and i will provide this code in the description also so let's see the python code also so it will be similar okay actually you can see this uh, function that we are given and we are uh, like initializing a dp you can say uh, dictionary in python then for this function i've written this function inside this function because in python the function uh, inside function is allowed you can see so let's see so similarly if root is null you can see in python syntax is like if not root so we can return zero otherwise we will check if root in dp dot keys because in python to assess the keys of this dictionary we have to write dot keys so it will check if it is there then we can simply return the value for that particular key and similarly profit one profit one will be for the root dot left and root dot right that is uh, skipping the parent note and looting the left and right children and similarly for this if we root this root then we will uh, root the left uh, grandchildren and uh, right grandchildren similarly we will check for the maximum you can see before re before returning the answer we will simply save it to the word dp or the dictionary before uh, for memorization so you can see return dp or uh, root and simply you can see uh, returning the this function that we have made inside the main function that we are having so it will return the value of this dp root let's submit this also so i hope you like this video and like guys do like this video and subscribe this channel for more such videos and uh, do let me know which videos should i make or like which videos you do you want to me to make so thank you for watching guys i hope you like this video and also uh, do don't forget to uh, like uh, i will tell you about the time complexity also so time complexity for this will be actually o of n because at the max what we are doing is we are traversing whole tree so at max we will traverse this tree so size of this array you can see will be n okay and so our time complexity will be also n before uh, we will make similar calls you can see this will be calling one two and three four so it will be having like calling for the similar values so it will be having the time complexity of one for traversing the tree and the space complexity will be also n because we are using the stack also and also the dictionary that we are using for the memorization so that's why the time complexity will be o of n and uh, time complexity will n and space will be also n so thank you for watching guys i hope you like this video do like this channel and subscribe